Hello and welcome to the Jojo Star YouTube channel, everything Jojo anime and manga. When most people think of characters in Jojo that could have been great, would they have more development? Names like Abdul, Kakuin or Hermes might be brought up. But one character that usually said to be underdeveloped is Part 5's angry dessert, Panacotta Fugo. And I must agree that he is underdeveloped. However, Fugo is rather special when thinking of the forgotten character, so to speak. In this video, I will talk about why Fugo is great and go in depth in his characteristics. Quick disclaimer, I will not speak of Purple Haze feedback in this video, and I will rather just focus on the part 5 Fugo. However, Purple Haze feedback could be a future video, who knows. When you describe Fugo, some might say that Fugo has a very caring personality, as shown in his past when he brings young Naransha, who was suffering from hunger and from an eye disease, into a restaurant and asks Bucharati to give him food. He even continues to greatly care for Naransha, tutoring him and acting as protective guardian over him at times. Fugo is usually a friendly member of the group, easily mingling with the turbulent Mista and Naransha, being the first to greet Trish Una and openly acknowledging Jorno's ability and greatly praising him after the fight they had together. However, as most people know, Fugo is extremely violent when he snaps. Once Fugo snaps, he becomes quite hot-headed and violent. It is stated that he dropped out of school because he bashed his teacher with an encyclopedia, for good reason however. He was also shown to violently stab Narancha with a fork and slam his head over the table when the latter made a basic mistake, even jabbing him in the stomach with keys and he repeatedly restated orders incorrectly. His stand Purple Haze reflects this aspect of his personality. The anime adaptation expands upon this, showing that Fugo was mentally unstable because of the pressure that his parents gave him to achieve high academic grades. Containing violent or even murderous in impulses during his entire youth, Fugo only became openly angry once at a teacher and has never tried to resolve his anger issues. Fugo, when he was young, was born into a wealthy family in the suburbs of Naples. He performed extremely well in his studies, having boasted an IQ of 152 at age 13. Fugo had already entered a university to study law, although he had a poor relationship with his professors. At some point he beat one of the professors using an encyclopedia, and from that point onward, Fugo's life grew worse and worse until he joined Bucciarati's gang. Fugo is also very intelligent and a serious member. Though he did indeed drop out of school in the end, it still stands that his academic ability allowed him to enter university level at age 13. During Team Bucciarati's bodyguarding mission, he was one of the most cautious and would frequently advise for safer options. When presented with a choice to stay with Bucciarati's group and betray the boss or leave and seek safety, Fugu deserted the group, having reassigned the logical reasoning of the group's inevitability to having to fight the boss. This, in my opinion, shows Fugu's characteristics very well, since he chooses the safer and more logical options over the reckless and idiotic options. He in a way plays life safe and is happy with what he has. The choice of leaving Bucciarati's gang was tough for him, since it was his friends running into battle. However, his choice is validated since he knew the outcome most likely would lead to everyone's death. In Fugu's only stand battle in part 5, against the Luso, Abaku describes Purple Haze as a stand that reflects Fugo's violent side, and as the birds drop out of the sky and melt, Purple Haze's ability is revealed to unleash a deadly flesh-melting virus. Though in the prison of the Luso, and his ability to separate standing user, Fugu is quickly beaten and left with serious injuries. The majority of the battle afterwards is left up to Jono and Abaku. After beating Abaku, Elusa attacks the Jono when he sees him with the key, seemingly just staring at it without running away. This turns out to be part of Jono's plan as he infected himself with Purple Haze virus, and it spreads to Elusa easily. When Elusa severs his hand and escapes, Jono also reveals that he created a snake that follows him, allowing Fugo to control Purple Haze on the other side without needing to see Elusa. Purple Haze catches him and brutally kills him. Fugo is present for a number of stand attacks from various members of the squadra. However, each time the team is attacked, Fugo is unable to participate for a number of reasons. Purple Haze being too dangerous for the given situation, therefore ordered not to engage is one common reason why he is not in more stand fights. Fugo as a character is deeply troubled, and hence he has flaws that him himself can see in his stand. Even though he's a fictional character, I hear many people relate to Fugo, and I understand why. He truly is a character with unexplored depth, and in my opinion, an interesting character that deserved more stand fights. 
Overall, Panacotta Fugo has an incredible amount of strength in his stand, Purple Haze. However, Fugo himself does not like the fact that people can see his awful side through his stand. Ruchadati seems to take the parental role over Fugo, much like the rest of the crew. However, Fugo quickly learns from him and takes the guardian role to Narancha. Their bond is solid, and Fugo is a strong member of the team, and one of the best in part 5. Now all that's left to speak about is Purple Haze feedback. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, then please like and subscribe. Share this video around and feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below.